Cicero, Octavian, Mark Antony, and Cleopatra are among the most well-known names not just in Roman history, but in human history. <coughs> Each year, we are treated to a new book, movie, or TV show depicting the lives of this vaunted last generation of the Roman Republic. There are good reasons for their continued predominance. It is a period alive with fascinating personalities and earth-shattering events. It is especially riveting for those of us in the modern world who, suspecting the fragility of our own Republican institutions, look to the rise of the Caesars as a cautionary tale. Ben Franklin's famous remark that the Constitutional Convention had produced a republic, if you can keep it, rings all these generations later as a warning bell, and that was, of course, Revolution's episode 2.16. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're uh, tied together. Okay, surprisingly, there has been much less written about how the Roman Republic came to the brink of disaster in the first place, a question that is perhaps more relevant today than ever. A raging fire naturally commands attention, but to prevent future fires, one must ask how the fire started. No revolution springs out of thin air, right? I mean, there's always like seven, eight episodes of back. <laughs> <laughs> they, never, they never just spring out of thin air, like ever. There's always like budget meetings we have to go through. Okay. Uh, no, no revolution springs out of thin air. Uh, and the system that Julius Caesar destroyed through sheer force of ambition certainly was not healthy to begin with. Uh, much of the fuel that ignited in the 40s and 30s BC had been poured a century earlier. The critical generation that preceded that of Cicero, Caesar, and Antony, that of the revolutionary Gracchi brothers, the stubbornly ambitious Marius, and the infamously brash Sulla is neglected. We have long been denied a story that is as equally thrilling, chaotic, frightening, hilarious, uh, and riveting as that of the final generation of the Republic. And this book tells that story. <laughs>